In Entity Framework Core, migrations are used to sync the model changes in your applications with the database schema. So based on the AppDB context file and the model changes, the Entity Framework Core will generate a new c -sharp class, which is then used to apply the model changes in the database. Now let us go to Visual Studio and see it in action. Now here to add your first migration, you can use the Package Manager console and you can find it in here or you can just go to Tools, then go to the NuGet Package Manager and then Package Manager console. But before you add your first migration, you need to install an additional package. So for that, I'll just go to Tools, then NuGet Package Manager and then Manage NuGet Packages for Solution. In the browse, I'll just search for tools and then in here I'll select the microsoft.entityframeworkcore.tools then check the project and click install. Then I'll accept the license to install the tools and the design and now that the package is installed you can just go to the package manager console and in here to add the migration, you need to type add dash migration and then just a name. I'll name the first migration just initial and then press enter. Now here we see that we get an error. Now let us scroll up in here. And the error says that the connection string cannot be null. So let us now just go to the app settings.json file because that is where we define the connection string. So for that, I'll just first close the NuGet and then go to the app settings.json file. And in here we have a typo because this section in here needs to be connection strings with an S at the end. Because when you go to the startup.cs and then in here you have the get connection string that section is supposed to be with an S at the end. So let us just save all the changes and then go to the package manager console one more time. And then in here, I'll just scroll down, then run the command one more time. And now we can see that the command ran successfully. In here, we have a class which was created with the same name of the migration, so initial. And this is just a partial class that inherits from the base class migration. And in here, inside the up method, we have the create table. So the table actors is being created, which has four properties, the ID, profile, picture, URL, and full name and biography. And then in the constraints, you have the primary key set to be the ID. The same goes for the cinemas. Then you have the producers. Then you have the movies and then down here you have the actors movies where you have the columns, just the movie ID and the actor ID. But in the constraints, you have the foreign keys. You have the primary key, which is just a combination of the actor ID and the movie ID. And then at the end, you have a down method, which in case you want to revert this migration, it will basically just drop the actors movies, the actors, movies, cinemas, and the producers tables. Now let us update the database. And for that, just go to the package manager console and just type in here update dash database. And now all these changes will be applied to the database. I'm going to open the database using the SQL server management studio. I'll connect in here to the server. Then in the databases, we have the e-commerce app DB. Then in here, I'll just add a new database diagram. Here, I'll add all the tables. So we see that the tables were added now to the database, add, and then close. And now you can see that we have also the relationship. So for example, between the cinemas and the movies, we have a one-to-many relationship. The same goes for the producers. But for the movies and the actors, we have a many-to-many -many and we have this joining table 
which then splits the many to many into two one to many so we have now a one to many between actors and the actors movies and also between the movies and the actors movies now if you scroll down in here you are going to see that we have a typo so instead of producers we are missing an o so let us just go back to visual studio and then here i'll just go to the solution explorer then go to the app db context then here modify the name so producers save the changes go to the package manager console and then in here i'll just add a new migration and then name fix producer then enter so you can see that a new file was created and the most important part in here is that we are renaming the table from this name to the new name producers let us update the database so update dash database and then press enter and the database was updated if you want you can just go to the server explorer and here just open then just refresh the tables and inside the tables you now have producers